the Brannick 7600 Strut Spring Compressor Features and Operation. Let's look at some of the features of the Brannock Model 7600 Strut Spring Compressor. The compressor is designed to handle springs from 3.5 to 11.5 inches in diameter. It has a maximum spring compression of 3,000 pounds. The Acme screw provides extra compressive power and durability for the tool. The long handles give you extra torque for easier compression. The compression head is semi-floating to adjust for small variations in each spring. All hooks are vertically and horizontally adjustable to allow for the proper fit. To ensure the spring is held securely, the tool includes a six-point solid wraparound contact. Mounting Methods There are three optional mounting methods for the Brannock 7600. We have the wall mount, a bench mount, and the mobile cart. Choose the one that best fits your operation. Warnings and Cautions Warning. Failure to properly position the strut assembly in the tool can result in serious injury. Never remove the piston rod nut when there is any spring pressure on the lower spring seat. Use extreme care when working with a compressed spring. Cautions. Before using this product, read and fully understand the operating instructions and all decals on the product. This is necessary to prevent injury to the operator and damage to the product. Use this tool on strut springs only. Do not attempt to compress any other type of spring or use this tool for any other purpose. Do not use this tool if it is visibly worn, distorted, or damaged. Always wear appropriate eye protection. Inspect the spring of the strut assembly for any damage or corrosion. Spring breakage during compression could cause injury. If the strut assembly is difficult to compress or the spring bows or tilts, release pressure and reposition the strut assembly. Keep fingers and hands clear of the upper hook area at all times. Assembly Types There are four types of strut assemblies you may run into when working with the spring compressor. Type 1 is a bearing plate and spring seat with a gap between the two. Notice the position of the hooks on the spring seat. Type 2 is a bearing plate and spring seat with no gap. In this case, since there is no space for the hooks, they will have to be placed on the upper coils of the spring itself. Type 3, a spring seat without a bearing plate. Notice the placement of the hooks directly on the spring seat. And type 4, the coil over shock. In this case, the hooks are placed on the upper spring coils. Operation. With the hooks pulled out from the center, Set the lower hooks so that the left hook is slightly above the center and the right hook is slightly below the center hook. Place the strut assembly on the lower center hook using the lowest possible spring coil. With the strut assembly resting on the center hook, push the left and right hooks in to engage the spring coils. The spring should be centered between the three hooks with each hook extended the same distance from its sleeve. Adjust the lower left and right hooks using the knurled adjustment knobs so that the spring is vertically centered when viewed from the side or front. Before engaging the upper hooks, determine the method that will be used based on the type of strut assembly being compressed. Now that the assembly is properly positioned, simply turn the handles at the top of the Model 7600 to compress the spring. The spring should be compressed only until it is free of the lower spring seat. Do not over compress the spring. 
If there is any tilting or bowing of the spring, release the compression and reposition the strut assembly. Once the spring is free of the lower spring seat, use the included clamp to secure the strut assembly to the spring. This will prevent the strut from falling when the piston rod nut is removed. Remove the piston rod nut from the top of the strut. There is more open space on the right side of the Model 7600, so it's easier to work from that side. After the piston rod nut is removed, hold the bottom of the strut with one hand while removing the clamp. To reassemble, move the new or serviced strut up into the spring. Ensure that the spring is properly meeting the spring seats and upper components are correctly aligned. Install the piston rod nut, making sure that the nut is fully engaged. Release the spring compression and remove the assembly from the Model 7600. Thank you for watching. If you would like more information on the Brannock 7600 or any of our other quality products, please contact your distributor.